All right, tubers. I'm gonna do a do a review on this uh, Harbor Freight log splitter. It's one of them hand deals. You gotta operate it yourself. It don't need no motor, or whatever. Just a hydraulic cylinder and your arms working the levers. But uh, I've been playing around with it, and I think it does pretty good. This here is uh, this here is oak. Um, I got a piece here. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish splitting that one, and then I'm gonna go to this one. This one's kind of dead. It ought to split pretty good. But I've got a small one. It's got a knot in it. I'm gonna try next. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So, uh, I'll give y'all a quick overview of it. I mean, it's, uh, my son bought it last year, year before last, something like that. I mean, we've had it for a long time and never used it very much. He might've used it a couple of times, but uh, I got it out today and, uh, the cylinder was low on, uh, fluid. It wouldn't pump up. So, uh, I didn't. Obviously, I didn't have any fluid, so I throwed some uh, transmission fluid in there. I mean, transmission ain't nothing but a big hydraulic pump anyway, so whatever. It's working. But uh, let me show y'all. That's the right, I mean the left side, and this is the right side. See the difference in the cylinders? This side... This side over here pumps it fast. This side pumps it slow. So you can pump this side, get it up on the wood, and then pump this side to split it till it gets easy. And then when it gets easy, you can go back to this side here and finish busting it through. But uh, I mean, it, it does pretty good. The only, the only thing that I don't like about it is right here, you got this little ledge right here this is all the bust you got is from the point to right here because wood hangs up on this i'm thinking about maybe uh filling that in with some weld and smoothing it out with the grinder that way it'll give it a little bit of more roll on that because it it stops right there but besides that i mean it does pretty good. It's better than slinging a slinging a, a sledgehammer. So let me let me try to get y'all set up, and I'll run through these logs, and we'll see how it goes. We got the old three-legged midget out here. Oh. Can't bend. Over. I'm using one of the kids' picnic tables, and it ain't working out too good. I can't bend over that far. Just bear with me. I'm trying. Oh, phone's too big. It's trying to pop out. I think it's pretty good right there. Let's, let's try to bust some of this up. All right. Like I said, this one here is the fast one. You got your knob here to release with. When you feel that one getting hard, then you can go to this other one. A lot easier. And this is oak. I mean, it's dried out pretty good. It's not still, still green. It's not green oak. When you're going on that one right there and she starts feeling soft, you go back to your fast stroke. See, 
guess she's bottoming out right there. Like I was saying, when she hits that ledge right there, she bottoms out. So, and all you have to do is turn you. Let your pressure off. She backs back out. I'm going to flip this one around because it didn't bust all the way through like I wanted it to. Oh, it's kind of gnarled up. I don't know if we're going to get a good split out of this one or not. This might have been the wrong one to set up for a demonstration piece. I could probably I could probably split that one again but I want to get that knot on here so y'all can see it Ooh. I might have messed up I don't know if she's gonna fit on there or not that's a fail we'll go ahead and throw this big one on there this one's got a lot of ooh. she won't fit neither all right then i guess that makes for a quick video um i'll go ahead and bust this one one more time And I'll throw a tape on this. That way y'all can see what size logs it'll take to. Okay, she's tight right there. Slide her over just a little bit. And it's already split. Maybe. I don't think this one's going to split. I think this one's just tearing wood off the end of it. Well. It's been splitting good. But as you can see, this one come out of pieces. So... I didn't have nothing to push on, but uh, let me get let me grab a tape measure and I'll make sure it's bottomed out. I'll show y'all what size logs. Hope y'all can hear me over there. I didn't think about that. It was like 19 inches. 
18 inches is dead. So 18 inch log would split in this. No bigger than 18. You got plenty of room to work with. I mean, if y'all like I am, y'all get the saw and you get these sideways cuts. 18 inches will be good. You don't get two sideways anyway. Like I said, it's 19 inches. So. But anyway, that's uh, just wanted to show y'all that. I think it's pretty damn neat. Um, like I said, we've had it for a little while and uh, hadn't been used much. We got a pile of wood. I don't know if y'all can see it over on the back side of the tractor. But it needs to be split up, and I'm not swinging no wood maul. Or a sledge trying to split no wood right now. But it would be nice to get that pile gone. And, uh, and get her in a pile. And Get it ready to to burn up anyway. Got a little fire going now. But uh, anyway, tubers, I'll let y'all have it back. I just want to throw that on you. I'm pleased with it. Like I said, the only issue I have with it is that little lip right there. If that little lip wasn't there, then uh, you could, because uh, it bottoms out right here. Your ram does. It'll go right there. So you have. Let me throw tape on it again. I'm trying to. Sorry about being shaky, y'all. Okay, you got you got nine inches of ram. So and then it bottoms out on these right here, which that could be taken care of. But then again, I don't know how long the ram is. You probably it's probably be safe to leave that. Nine inches. Yeah, it'd probably be probably be safe to leave these. So you don't blow your seals out of your ram. But anyway, tubers, I just want to throw that on you, let y'all see that. Um I like it myself. There's a few things I could do to change it. But it's got plenty of power. Like I said, this is oak. And uh, it ain't the first I split. There's on the other side of that umbrella, that yellow wood there, that's, that's oak too. I split that earlier, messing around with it. But she'll do it. A little bit of work. It's better than swinging them all. So uh, I'm right at 14, 14 minutes. So I'm going to let y'all have it back, tubers. Thank you.